Bohr's model views the hydrogen atom as a miniature solar system in which electrons circle around a positively charged nucleus in orbits of fixed size and energy. As we have already seen, this simple model allowed us to calculate the energy of the electron in every accessible orbit. Consequently, we were able to predict the positions of spectral lines in the atomic emission spectrum of hydrogen. According to the second Boas postulate, the energy of an electron is quantized, which means an electron moving in an orbit can have only a certain amount of energy. The energy of the electron in its level can be calculated by using the following equation. The negative sign in the equation is an arbitrary convention, signifying that the energy of an electron in the atom is lower than the energy of free electron which is an electron that is infinitely far from the nucleus. The energy of a free electron is arbitrarily assigned a value of zero. As the electron gets closer to the nucleus, E, N, becomes larger absolute value, but also more negative. The most negative value is reached when N equals 1, which corresponds to the most stable energy state, that is called ground state, or, the ground level. The stability of electron diminished for N equals 2, 3, and so on. Each of these level is called, an excited state, or, excited level. Boas theory enables us to explain the line spectrum of the hydrogen atom. Radiant energy absorbed by the atom causes the electron to move from the lower energy level to a higher energy level. Conversely, radiant energy in the form of a photon is emitted when the electron moves from a higher energy level to a lower energy level. The amount of energy needed to move an electron in the Bohr atoms depends on the differences in the initial and final states. By applying the previous equation to the emission process in a hydrogen atom, let us assume that the electron is initially at the excited state, characterized by the symbol of N, I. During emission, the electron drops to a lower energy level, characterized by the symbol N, F. The difference between the energies of the initial and the final states can be calculated by using the following equation. When a photon is emitted, the delta E is negative, which indicates the energy lost to the surrounding. The energy difference can also be calculated by using the following equation. As the transition results in the emission of a photon of frequency and energy, we can write
we can calculate the energy absorbed by the electron by using this equation. When energy is absorbed, the delta E is positive. The photon is emitted in the form of radiation, with appropriate frequency and wavelength. Hence, its frequency and wavelength, can be calculated by using Rydberg equation can be used, to calculate the wavelength of transition of electron, between two energy levels. Please notes that, the value of the Rydberg constant, is different for both equations. 